train has stopped and they are yelling at someone right off the side. An error has occurred okay. during payment. Go, uh, Anything has been charged. There it is. Second first impressions of Rome so far. I still freaking love it. So I'm off to start my daily journey. I got a three hour, well, two one and a half hour train trips now to get from Sorrento to Naples and then from Naples to Rome. This one was 390, so about four years ago. I mean, nothing, not, it's not bad at all. I guess it is an hour and a half train ride. I'm heading over to my, uh, my, oh, hey, my glasses were like, you need to be on. So I'm heading over to my platform. Fingers crossed. It goes as smoothly over in uh, Naples, but I do have to change stations over there. Unlike some of the uh, nicer, new, modern, fancy trains, these ones don't have uh, buttons on the outside for me to uh, push to open the door. So I'm just hoping that the door's open before it uh, takes off out of here. But I'm the only person on the platform. I assume we'll pick up some people at a route. We are officially moving. happening right now but we aren't quite at the stop and the train has stopped and they are yelling at someone right off the side and by off the side I mean like right off the side <laughs> so I have no idea what's going on Yeah, to go and uh, espresso. But I do know I still have to go over to the other station. Get the ticket to Rome, um, and that should cost me probably a 40 to 60 euro range. Ooh, that was a strong espresso. That was one of the stronger ones I've got. That machine did not want me to get to where I want to go. So I hopped on over to another machine and I'm trying it out. It kept giving me an error has occurred during payment. And that bullshit. Last time I tried to use one of these machines, I had no issues. I just followed the prompts and it went through. Is that your car? So, I don't know. Let's try this again. Take out your car. It's beeping at me again like it did like the other machine. I think I'm going to have to go in and actually do this with someone. What the hell? An error has occurred okay. during payment. Go, uh, Anything has been charged. There it is. Yeah, no idea why the machine wasn't working. Because she, she was able to get me through without an issue. So it wasn't a card issue, luckily. So in case anybody is wondering, this is quite delicious Nutella muffin. But it's uh, 270 euro. And I hunkered down right next to an espresso machine. So as soon as I finish this, I grab an espresso or hop on a train. I did consider spending 10 more to get the more comfortable seats. But I decided against it. It's only like an hour and a half. Buying myself an espresso. If I've got the change, I might not have the change. Aww, uh, shucky dang darn. I think I had enough. We'll find out. It didn't like that coin. Why don't you like that coin? Nope, it says no. <laughs> Mochino. This one actually shows the innards and you can see it making your coffee. This train is 48 euros, so it ain't too bad. kind of where I'm supposed to go. It's supposed to be about a 40 minute walk. It does mean that I potentially won't be able to hit Ostia and Tika today though because uh, I just really wasn't thinking it was going to take as long to get from Sorrento to Rome as it does. And Ostia and Tika's last entry is at 3.30 when they close at 4.30. So even if I got there at 3.30, I don't honestly think that I can see it in an hour. 
and it is closed tomorrow, even though I have an entire day. It's not that big of a deal because I will 100% uh, be back to Rome at some point in my life because I just love it here and I don't mind wandering around the city for an extra evening. So that looks like it might end up being what happens. I'd love to see Ostia and Tika. Uh, in case anybody who doesn't, who's watching this doesn't know what that is. It was the old Roman port town. Shortly after the turn of uh, the century, uh, 50 AD, around that time, it, uh, it really started to fall and other port towns became more and more prominent in usage. So unlike Herculaneum and Pompeii, it was not a one-off destroyed situation. It was a abandonment over time. And uh, because of that, because it wasn't all buried, uh, it is a little more destroyed to my understanding than what you get at uh, Herculaneum or Pompeii. But it is similar in that it is an entire ancient city ruin. Though it is more ruined than either of those, it is still an ancient city and it is massive. So if you are coming to Rome and you don't have time to go down to Pompeii or Herculaneum, I do highly suggest you look into Ostia Antica. But hopefully I can still show it to you. If I can't, there was a little bit of the spiel you would have gotten from me while I was there. Second first impressions of Rome so far. I still freaking love it. Even with all these freaking crowds right here, I still love it. But this is my first time because seven years ago, this was closed. So this is my first time actually getting to see the Trevi Fountain. And it is absolutely freaking incredible. Now I can tell you 100%, as much as I would love to, there ain't absolutely no way I'm gonna be able to get my booty pop shot here. So I'm not even gonna try. Jesus Christ, man, Lisa. That is just such an incredibly beautiful town. Any, any of you people who say you don't like Rome, I do not understand you. Because I know a lot of people don't like Rome for whatever reason. Man, this right here is why I love Rome. You just walk around and it's, it's modern buildings all around, but then it's just random ancient stuff. I, I love it. And it's all over the city. I'm just walking around here like this before with a freaking gigantic smile on my face actually. and I have learned my lesson if you are coming on a vacation and you are uh, using a GoPro absolutely have multiple batteries I don't know what I was thinking I didn't know I was gonna be walking by all the monuments that I'm walking by on this walk so I got a fountain behind me I don't want to say it but I think that might be one of Bernini's but I, I'm probably wrong about that with the uh, Egyptian obelisk that they uh, stole and brought here up on top of it and then right on the other side we got the Pantheon. I made it to my room. Awesomely, they are letting me check in. Yeah, fully, like, get in my room. Even though it's only a little after 11. The room is a basic room. Don't really have a view. But I don't need that basic room. I don't remember the price uh, off the top of my head of the room itself. And there goes the glasses. Uh, the tax for the room was 350 a night, so seven for the two nights. Uh, that is double or more than double than any of the other cities that I've stayed in for the city tax. Uh, so keep that in mind, even though you can get rooms for way, 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 way cheaper in Rome than you can in any of the other places I've been, except for maybe Naples. But, uh, I asked him if the city tax is higher in the summer, and it is, it's like six or seven, it varies um, per night, so. Keep that in mind also if you're coming during the very hot and busy months of the summer. So this is the first time I decided to do one of these post-vlog sign-offs, but I was editing this video together and it was a little too long, it's about a half hour. So I'm cutting it here. I'm gonna show you the incredibly beautiful city of Rome in the next episode. But if you have liked what you have seen so far, please smash that like button down below, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. This dude came over and just like, forcibly opened the door. I was like, oh, you forced them. And then I just followed him under the train. He was like, wait, 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 wait. So I've been awesomely 
talking to myself and not the camera for the last minute. <laughs> but nothing new there. For anyone who wants to get themselves a wheelie bag for uh, their vacations in, in Europe in general, because Europe is a lot of cobblestone streets, things like that, don't get yourself one of the bags, even if it's an expensive bag, with them tiny little round wheels. Because I see so many people struggling on these streets. A lot of times their wheels are falling off or breaking or whatever. Get yourself a bag with some good wheels that's made to roll on any surface. So like I am not sponsored by them, but I highly recommend Osprey's bags. I got an Osprey Sojourn uh, 40 liter and I have had no issues going over any of these absolutely horribly rough surfaces.